Okay, so it's time. Uh, time I show you guys what we've been working on for a little bit. This is officially the Gen 2 release of the RX-28. Over the past year, we've been refining and uh, trying to improve quality, fit, finish of the cars and revising a few parts along the way. Um, and with this video, I want to show you guys what we've been working on. Uh, for starters, I'm going to reach for the standard RX-28. The new RX-28 is right here. Um, this motor is installed there just to illustrate how much space we have, how easy it is to mount. Obviously, that's the biggest update on the car. It's a new motor mount. It's much lower center of gravity. Um, it sets up with shims now. Just two screws at the bottom. Super easy to take out a screw, install a shim. And we will eventually uh, have slide in shims so that you just have to loosen them and may, it'll make adjustments a breeze. With a 25 millimeter tire, a one millimeter shim gets you exactly two millimeters of ride height. Uh, so we'll have a chart for that. It'll be really easy to track. You won't really even have to measure it as long as you measure the diameter of your tire. You'll be able to know what the height is. Uh, the other update is we're gonna be using the steel 30 gram chassis in every car. We, we found out that it's just easier to drive. You don't really lose much of the steering um, and it being much more rigid, it's just much more durable than than the brass uh the finish on it also doesn't scratch as easily overall it's just a better higher quality product so i wanted to give you guys that uh in the back this shows a brass uh lower pod piece uh, this is still a prototype so or not a prototype but a production sample so the the standard one will come with a carbon fiber piece right there we will have an optional bra uh, steel piece for it um but um, more that the standard car is geared towards the slower classes. We feel like the lighter weight one is probably better match for out of the box. Uh, here we, we, we did prepare this car for PN 2500 super stock. So it has the PN spur, but it has the V2 uh, ball diff with, with the um, thrust bearing on there. Uh, brand new, uh, all new um, uh, aluminum shaft as well. Um, the other thing that's new is we have all molded new parts. So the linkages are now molded and the center pivot is now molded. Uh, you can't see it right there, but you can see it from the bottom. Uh, also dedicated left and right upper and lower arms is gonna be part of the kit. And in the case of the KISS front end, um, the, the biggest change is we're gonna have the, the locating pins. I don't grab a KISS front end. But one thing to note is how decreased the slop is. The bulkhead, we removed the the spacers the caster spacers from them and that allowed us to have uh much less slop uh, now it has built in two degrees of a caster which we found 95 percent of the time was was the better setting we have an optional upper arm that's going to be adjustable uh, for camber so with having adjustable camber uh, the caster adjustment kind of becomes moot caster adjustment was a little bit cumbersome if you ever wanted to get more caster you can always shave like two tenths of a millimeter off the front of the arm and then use one of the older caster shims to move the arm back. Um, we find that you're probably not going to need that. Obviously, with the new chassis, we, we have the SE style um, servo mount, which allows you to have a lot more space on the upper bulk, uh, on the upper chassis so that the electronic layouts are a lot easier that way. Um, outside of that, the suspension did come down a little bit with this new motor mount. Um, they're, they're flattened out a little bit. They're a little bit, uh, one millimeter lower here. So one millimeter lower at the center shock, uh, makes everything a little bit flatter, makes the car a little bit smoother. Um, last thing about this car is, uh, obviously it'll be available in both trims and the price is coming down. It's going to be $20 less because we now we have molded items. So that's a big, uh, benefit. Um, outside of that, uh, I'm going to show you guys now the SE. So, uh, coup de gras, right? The SC, the car that everybody seems to like for modified. Uh, this comes with, obviously, our, our stainless steel tub. The big update on this car is that now we have an adjustable center pivot. The pivot got two screws, and you'll see pictures of it. These two screws, that pivot comes down, and right behind it, I don't know if it's visible, but in there you can kind of see two shims right there. Those two shims uh, allow you to move the pivot up and down. 
Um, standard setting is all the way low. It's better for lower bite and actually high bite. So in lower bite, it gives you more grip and lower bite, it prevents traction rolling. So that's a big, big, big benefit. Outside of that, new steel plate. So they'll come with steel plates instead of brass, which they don't bend uh, much tougher. Um, one thing I hadn't mentioned about the motor mount, the motor mount does shed about a gram and a half of weight, maybe two. So the car's a little bit lighter in the rear, moves the weight bias a little bit further forward. Uh, typically we've been running 52, 48, uh, by adding two grams here and we'll, we'll run the electronics plate and then everything else depends on the rear motor. But if you're running a, a, a PN or a GL style motor, you, you end up with like 52, 48, uh, weight bias. And that seems to, to make the car really good, much like the other car molded side links. Uh, these are the gray, the gray version of the upper arms. Uh, you can notice there's a lot less slop now, um, on the front end. We did revise the mold. Obviously, we made a, 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 a another negative mold because we made we used to have one side. Now we have the other. So for the upper is I think this is the this is the new one. Uh, for the lowers, this is the lower one. Is the lower right is the new one. Uh, so that'll allow you to have a little bit better articulation side to side without having any, have any modification. Uh, it's just easier to build this car. I, I, I did no shaving, no anything to it. I built it in probably under two hours um it goes together really easy the, the most meticulous thing to do on this car is something that's not even really necessary and that's like sanding your differings i always do that just because it gives you a little bit better engagement but everything else was just built you know we've i'm not saying that you're never going to have to adjust something because it might be a little tight on a ball socket or something like that maybe a little squeeze here or there uh, maybe necessary, but for the most part, like 97, 98% of the car is just really very, very little massaging. Um, I know guys like to polish their pivot balls. That's something that I don't think is entirely necessary, but, but you can do. Uh, another thing you can note is how little slop we have on the rear, on the rear side links. They're much better. Um, we have a little bit right here on the rear axle and that's because we haven't glued the bearings in place like i told you it was was a really really quick build um but uh difference there since these are a little bit lower oh the side links uh not the side links but the side spring uh, it's kind of dark to see but the side spring spring perches are a little bit smaller now they're a millimeter thinner um for the se so that the springs can be have a little bit wider range of adjustment uh, one thing we do is we do mount one millimeter shim right there because the SE tweak brace is one mil millimeter lower than on the standard car. So we do that to make them uh, be a little bit flatter and have a little extra clearance on this corner. You can run it without it, but this corner right here on the motor mount um, gets a little close whenever you're running it without shims. You know, it still gives you pretty much full range of mojo. Just full range of motion with one millimeter shim. And without it, you get almost 100% of the range of motion. I don't know that you ever need that much motion, but I always like to keep it clear. Also, a flatter side link allows a little more body roll, a little bit less traction rolling on the car. Uh, this one does have a, a sample black diff shaft before you guys ask. It's just, it was, they got the color wrong. I, I, I tend to like them, but they're not hard anodized like the other ones. So we, we kept that. Um, we do have the option titanium shaft as well now. Uh, one other thing that's not showing here is we will have a new spur gear that you will be able to use some uh, adapter plates that you'll put on there to cover the spur gear, uh, the plates and the balls, and it'll protect it similar to what like, we have for the PN gear diff we will have, but it'll be via the spur. You'll use some screws that'll mount to the spur gear. Uh, same diff internal parts, but it just creates kind of like a labyrinth cover if anybody's familiar with the old X-ray diffs which prevents the diff from getting as dirty. It'll allow it to last longer. The other thing that changes a little bit is the color of the material on the on the chassis in these. This this new um, um, DLC is kind of like a dark gray. It's really cool looking. It almost looks the same color as the, as the hard gray arms. Um, you guys will really enjoy it. It makes the car looks really, really, really space age. Um, it's, it's very, 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 uh, easy on the eyes um the car will still come with the standard springs 
that we've used and they're most conditions. They've been the most popular ones. If we decide that the new standard's going to be running, the new linear springs, we'll, we'll make that a running change. But for right now, that's been our go-to. Uh, and until we don't have like the critical mass saying that we want to go with those most of the time right now, is people are still torn on them. Uh, they, they're really liking the pink centers and the pink uh, fronts. Uh, some guys will like green front, green center, a combination of both. But for the most part, I think we're we're we're, we're on pink center and pink fronts. Uh, it's a little bit softer setup. It seems to be working pretty good. Um, but if you guys have any questions, that's about what I got for you guys right now. Um, pre-orders uh, for the cars. Well, first release date, right? I. I'm expecting middle July to start shipping on everything. Um, almost everything is in. We're waiting on the spurs. Uh, we're waiting, even though the, the plastic is complete, uh, it still hasn't shipped to us. We're maybe on, on a boat, not a boat, but a plane to, over to us right now. So we're waiting on that. We have all the new parts uh, as far as aluminum, chassis, um, anything else uh, that we that we updated is in stock except for the plastics and the spurs. That's where we're waiting on. Um, I, I know people like pre-orders. I, I tend to hate them because whenever we don't hit our release date, it stresses everybody out. Uh, so I would like to say that we were going to put a pre-order up soon. Um, I don't know exactly when. Uh, we may actually do a product listing on the website so you guys can start looking at pictures of them and start planning on it and do the pre-order as soon as we know that the plastics are here. Um, that way we are able to kind of hit a better target of release. But uh, I think that's about it. This is uh, what we are calling the Gen 2 release of the car. You know, the first two batches were all pretty much the same. Uh, but much like before, we, we revised as much as we could and... Um, we tried to improve the quality uh, more than anything and um, revise just small issues so that we could make the car overall, you know, try to stay ahead of the pack. Everybody's releasing cars. Um, you know, the, the way that you stay out in front is by innovating, innovating. And, and we feel like this new car has a lot of new innovations that allows us to once again, separate ourselves from, from the rest of the pack. Um, all right. That's about it. Thank you. Oh, and one last thing, guys. I just wanted to show you guys before y'all freak out and think that uh, there was some stains on the bottom of the chassis. I noticed while I was putting together the video, um, there's a couple of oil marks on there. The, the way you clean um, the DLC is with, with just actually bearing oil. So you put it on, apply a little bit on the chassis, and then wipe it off with a, with a clean rag. Micro Microfiber usually works really, really, really well. Uh, it's the chassis, same chassis. I just, I wiped off those little couple of oil spots that were on there. Um, you can look at it pretty smooth, pretty clear. The new finish is actually kind of, uh, a little bit, uh, it's got a bit of a bead blast. So it's more matte, um, part of what we wanted. Uh, it's not as shiny as the old one. I tend to prefer this. And a lot of the other guys that we asked, they, they like this finish too. So as we went with 